All right. So this message is for the freaking battle rap bloggers, right? Me, myself, been watching battle rap for about 18 years now, right? More consistently, I would say the past 10 years, much, much more consistent. And uh, what I'm noticing now is a lot of these bloggers, they going off and uh, the bloggers that we actually uh, fell in love with watching their videos, they are um, no longer really blogging about battle rap. Um, there's one person in the game right now that's doing this thing. And um, I'm proud of the, the young fellow, uh, Jay Black, you know, shout out, shake my hand. Um, but uh, he's the only one right now holding it down and actually elevating the game. I mean, I don't know what he does behind the scenes. If he's the one flagging people, I have no idea. But I doubt it because the guy seems like a genuine brother that's about uh, uplifting the culture. Now, for the rest of you guys, man, I remember watching Chris Unbiased, even though he is on his whatever. I don't I don't, I don't want to speak on his situation because I don't know it really. But Chris Unbiased, Angry Fan Radio, uh, more recently, the last two years, uh, Rome DMV. Um, I even uh, watched Battle Truth too. Uh, Real Reviews, welcome back. He was gone for a long time, took a hiatus, uh, then came back. Uh, Piper Boy, The War Report, uh, even uh, Vida Fly. Shit, he was my favorite uh, blogger of last year, even though he went through his little shit. He took his, uh, he, he took his lump lumps. Um, but uh, yeah, to all, you, um, to all you bloggers out there in PSA uh, Radio, I like that. Angry Fans Radio, of course, I already said that. Caps, I watch you. But um, anyways, this is for, uh, I'm saying, I'm making this video because all y'all motherfuckers, man, we fell in love with watching y'all talk about battle rap, being the ones that we can actually relate to. You feel me? Like, when we watch a battle coming from the fan perspective, of course, uh, from the outside looking in, we get certain type of feelings. So we want to see, we reach out to the battle rappers through YouTube, of course. Um, and we try to see who, who we can relate to. We look for different perspectives, you know? And you guys brought excellent perspectives along with your own different type of styles. So therefore, we started to relate to y'all. We didn't just watch one of y'all. You feel me? We watched all of y'all. It's like it's kind of like all of y'all was a, a team of sort, you feel me? Like media all lumped together. But the problem is now is I, I guess you all lost touch of that. You all want to talk about each other's personal lives and kind of like reflect battle rap, like deflect battle rap and get it out the way and start talking about yourselves, trying to make yourselves just as big as the names in battle rap or the culture. But um, we're not here for that, man. We're here to hear about the content, what's going on. We all had like, especially older uh, older fellas like myself, we got jobs and shit. We, don't, we can't be on YouTube every motherfucking day. So then when we do tap in, we're trying to see what's going on with the battles. We trying to get referred to names of future battlers that could be fire one day that we don't even that the world don't even know about. You feel me? We trying to get on all of that. We trying to hear about uh, if a dude choked all three rounds. We trying to hear all of this because uh, some of us can't even afford pay per views. But I purchase pay per views personally. But some of us can't even afford pay per views. So we trying to hear what y'all got to say about the battles and the battle rappers. As far as this personal stuff, going against each other, talking about each other's personal life, whether this person has slept with this person or this person uh, did this, we don't even fuck about that for real. You feel me? They say controversy sells, but at the same time, that type of controversy, we like it's cool. It's it's on some TMZ, whatever type shit, but we not on that. We on battle rap. We trying to preserve this culture. And if y'all motherfuckers are on this, no, 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 this, you did this, you did that. No, fuck, fuck, angry fan. No, fuck Rome. Fuck, 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 fuck. Jay Black, he he shady. Da 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 da. da. Fire fly, he fucking Kenny. Da 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 da. da. Nah, fuck that shit. We don't care about none of that shit. We trying to hear what you got to say about this motherfucking battle rap, about these motherfucking bars and schemes. That's what we trying to hear. You feel me? And uh, shout out to Rap Grid, too. Forgot. Um, um, Hip hop is real. Shit. Every um, shit. I even I, I even watch Sun God. He's pretty good, too. Shout out to Sun God, too, as well. But anyways, I watch all y'all motherfuckers. And my message here today, I'm not trying to make this video super long, but just get your shit together. 
Man, stop flagging each other. Stop keeping each other's names in your mouth. If anything, you should fucking get together and click up. And when you click up, make a motherfucker committee. Because like I said, most people, such as myself, and I know a lot of motherfucking battle rap fans, they don't watch just one of y'all niggas. They watch all y'all niggas. All y'all. So, man, God bless. Everybody get your stuff together, man. Let's come together. You don't even got to fuck with each other, but just keep it battle rap. You feel me? Fuck what the next blogger is doing. You feel me? Fuck what the next blogger is doing. Worry about what you got to blog so people like myself can continue to enjoy the sport. Holla at your boy. This is B.A. Peace.